Welcome to the Septicon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to go inside the Septicon, and uh, Kevin's going to quiz me. So this is Brain Tank. What's going on, Kevin? All right. So for this week, mm. the topic is going to be American coins. What? Okay. Currency. Because remember last week, uh, you said that you didn't know exactly how much I would know about the subject, so I this. tried to think of something that I have no idea whether or not it'll work out. That's fair. So. Coins. Yes, coins. Now, I did limit it to American coins and American history, Thank so you. it should be within somewhat reasonable bounds. So. We'll find out. Yes. <laughs> Is it true or false? Yes. That in the 1800s, uh, America actually used a three cent piece for several decades. I'm going to say true. Yes, it is true. Yeah. It's a weird number. It though. is a very weird number. I I mean... Three? Three. Three cents. Like, we thought... It was a coin. A two dollar bill was... For right. like 40 years, they used it. 40 years? Yes. What was it called? A three cent piece. Oh, they didn't have a name for it? <laughs> Lame. That's why... That's how you knew it wasn't sticking around. There was no name for it. Even though it lasted 40 years. Yeah, it lasted for a while. So, now, today, we have modern machinery that can produce all of these coins, right? So you need a lot of mechanical force. Mm -hmm. But way back, sometimes you didn't always have machinery available. So is it true or false that the Philadelphia Mint once used bulls to run their mechanical machines to print coins? To run the machines? Bulls. I feel like... I kind of feel like that would be more fitting for New York City since they have that giant bull statue in uh, at, outside the trading center, like the business district. So I'm going to say, based on that solely alone, I'm going to say false. It is false. They actually used horses. And the horses make more sense, too. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they had a bunch of horses, so... It's called horsepower for a reason, right? Exactly. Not bull power. Now, is it true or false... That the person on the first U.S. commemorative coin to be used as legal tender was George Washington. First person on coin. See, yeah, I'd want to believe it would be George Washington. But I feel like, you. why would you start with a quarter? And then it was, this is probably before the penny was around. I mean, before Lincoln was around, so. I'm going to say False. You're right. It is false. The first person to be on a commemorative coin that like was actually used and not like a collector's item yeah. was Christopher Columbus. <sighs> they had a special uh, coin that they minted in 1892. Oh wow! For Christopher Columbus, uh, George Washington didn't show up on a on a commemorative coin until 1899, several years later. This is why we have Columbus Day. Is because we have a, <laughs> we had a coin named after the man, or with his face on it. Sad times. So, uh, also going to people on coins, is it true or false that the first woman to be on a U.S. coin was Betsy Ross? Whoa. Betsy Ross was on a coin? See, I didn't even know that. I knew Sacagawea was on a coin. I didn't know there was anybody else. Is it true or false that Betsy Ross was the first woman to be on a coin? I'm going to say true because this is blowing my mind. So it's true. It's actually completely false. <laughs> So the first woman to be on a coin was actually the Spanish Queen Isabella in 1893. Was on a U.S. coin? Yes. What? Why? I got this information from the U.S. Mint, so I know it did happen. <laughs> what? <laughs> America, why? Why would you put someone from another country on your coin? That makes no sense. Betsy Ross made perfect Be sense. Betsy Ross probably should have. The Susan B. Anthony, she was on a coin. Yeah, too. Susan B. Anthony, Sacagawea... And this um, Spanish queen or something, Yes. Right? <laughs> okay. Now, for the final question. Oh, uh, doing so well. So, our coins are just discs. Yes. Is it true or false that the U.S. Mint once considered donut-shaped coins when deciding on a coin shape? I'm going to... Okay. So, I'm going to say true, and I want to explain my th reasoning before he gives me the answer. It's because I know that in... Britain and overseas, they have coins that are rings inside of rings. So it looks like a donut if you punched out the middle copper part or whatever. So 
we're not that all that different from the UK, I'm going to say it's true. It is true. Yes. So probably a descendant of this idea could be, uh, I know New York transit coins occasionally have like a pentagon punched out of the center of it. Mm-hmm. So the general idea of it being like a ring-shaped coin uh, is still used today. I wonder why that was. Is more difficult to counterfeit? Possibly, or it could have like, or if they were high denomination, you could have strung them together, maybe. Oh yeah, I've seen that before. That's, I don't know, weird ideas. There are people that this is their sole job is figuring out how to make our currency better. Of course, as you've noticed, our currency has not changed in a long time. In a while. In a long time, especially the coins. Uh, but hey, man, some of that art, the, some of those design pieces of currency that i've seen on the internet for u.s currency we should be changing it because oh, yeah. it looks so cool there's some really good ones let's do that we can probably like put a link in the description in fact comment below what? if that's what you want <laughs> like this like this post and let us know that you would like to see new money or you just like to learn about money or you like to learn about things through brain tank because we like sharing our brain tank quizzes with you uh if you have other ideas for brain tank episodes please also leave those in the comments below because we always want more yes thank you very much for watching thank you We'll see you out there. Hi. Thanks for watching our episode. It was great to have you here. If you'd like to watch more of our content, there's a video right up there that you can watch. You can also subscribe. That'll guarantee you get tons of videos from us. If you like this video, you can hit that like button down there or comment. We love comments. We love you. You can find us around the internet in random places like Tumblr, Facebook, or Twitter. And as always, we'll see you out there.